Testament reading this morning from Ephesians, we hear the warning to be wise, that there are many things in this world that will pull us away. There are many temptations that face us each day. Has anyone had that experience in life? <laughs> I said, every time I walk by the cookie jar, there's one looking at me. <laughs> But honestly, our life is filled with challenges and decisions, and I read somewhere amazing, like we make 90,000 decisions a day, something amazing like that. It's so easy as to put one foot in front of the other, but a lot of our decisions we have to really think about. Our scripture reading this morning from Ephesians says, be careful, O people, do not walk in the darkness. For God has come, and Jesus has been here, and Jesus calls you to walk in the light, for you are the people of God. Sometimes it's scary to walk in the light, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes it's easier to hide in the back of the classroom or in the dark and not be seen. Because when you come out into the light, as it says in Ephesians, everything is seen, isn't it? Everything is seen. The good message is that we are not perfect, but when we walk in the light, we are given strength and we are able to be stronger in our faith. This is not a new message for us to place God first in our lives. This is not a new message for us to walk in the light and to remember whose we are. If we look at our first reading this morning from Psalm 111, we learn a lot. The Psalms were passed down from generation to generation. They were songs and poems that people would learn. Although when we translate it into English, we lose the fact that this Psalm is an acrostic Psalm. That means that in Hebrew, it starts with the beginning letter of the alphabet and works through. You've all seen those before. For us, you know, A is apple, B is banana, and that's how you can help remember. Well, in this psalm, it was written that way in Hebrew. It was to teach the people to remember to place God first. The first line of that psalm is hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We say that a lot on Easter morning, don't we? But I don't think that's a word I say in a regular week. Hallelujah! But the psalm begins, the psalmist begins by telling us, Hallelujah! I will praise God! I read this cute story this week about a pastor up in Minnesota. He had grown up in Minnesota, you know, the land of many, many lakes, and he had always wanted a boat. Never had a boat, but always wanted one. And he said, finally, he got further enough along in his marriage that his wife let him have one. <laughs> so he and his eight-year-old son, they went out to try their boat for the first time. He was so excited. They got on the boat, and they were headed across the lake, and he was taking it easy. And then his little uh, son said, hey, Dad, can we see how fast it goes? And he said, well, the little, the little boy inside of him said, sure. So they let it go as fast as it would go. And you know how it happens with the boat, the front end went up like this. And he said he watched his little boy get a bigger smile and smile as the boat got faster and faster. And finally, as the boat hit absolutely top speed and was just flying across the lake, his eight-year-old son stood up and went, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> and he thought, wow, we don't say that a lot. That's joy. Joy was filled in that child. Joy, so that all he could do was give God praise for how wonderful life was in that moment. That he was having so much fun and that he just knew that God was with him. Hmm. How often do we yell hallelujah? How often do we remember that God is with us? The psalmist says that the wise person knows that God is with them. The wise person decides to place God in the very center of their being. I will praise God, says the psalmist. I will praise God. I think sometimes we hear these words, but we don't really know how to walk in the light with them. 
we hear these words and we say, okay, these are nice words. These are wonderful words and I'll keep them on my lips, but I don't know how to live them out. It's sort of like when somebody sneezes. What do you say? It becomes an automatic response. But do you really think God lets you? Or has it become just an automatic response? What I believe the psalmist is saying is that if we take our life seriously, if we take the love that we have for God seriously, if we want to make these short days that we call life serious, we must be willing to walk in the light. We must be willing to say, here I am, God, and offer God praise and allow God to work in us and through us and with us. Not just with our lips, but with our very lives. To me, that's what it means to walk in the light, to have the courage to stand up and say, here I am, and I'm going to walk in the light. It's not easy, is it? It's not easy, particularly in this time that we are living in. One of my daughters shared with me this week that somebody in her class sneezed and she said, God bless you. And two students turned around and said, don't put your religious beliefs on us. We live in a time where sometimes it's easier to run into the dark and not be seen and not stand in the light and say, I'm a person of God. I'm a person who believes. I choose to walk in the light of Christ. I choose to take Jesus as my savior. I choose to be a Christian learning every day what it means to live out the message of the gospel, to be compassionate and understanding, to be loving and kind, to be faithful, to walk in the light. It doesn't mean you're going to be perfect because even when you walk in the light, you will stumble and fall. But to be courageous enough to walk in the light is what I believe Jesus is calling us to do. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. Are you letting that light shine through you? Are you living in that light? Or are you turning the blinds so that only a small amount of light seeps through? You are called, O oh people of God, to stand in the light, to boldly proclaim like that child, Hallelujah! I will praise God, for God is with us and living through us, and God gave us the gift of life. Can you imagine what this church or any church would be like if the first words we said when we walked through that door was hallelujah, hallelujah, I will praise God. I invite you this week, as you go into your uh, bathroom in the morning to brush your teeth, to look straight in the mirror, to remember the words of the psalmist, to say hallelujah, I will praise God today. I will walk in the light. I will be bold and I will remember. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the blessings of God be with you. May you dare to walk in the light. And may the message of God not just be on your lips, but living in your heart.